Yo, so it's Pika Kid and Eight here, and today I'm going to be talking about my opinion that the Switch is not better than the Wii U. I would say more on par. Now, obviously, people say that the Switch, oh yeah, the Switch is amazing. It's like it's the best console ever, and they say it's that it's much better than the Wii U. Personally, I don't see it this way. Now, I'm not saying the Switch is terrible. I am not saying that whatsoever. Now, obviously, yes, I know. I know the Wii U was a commercial failure. <laughs> That's probably a reason why people think that the Wii U was so terrible, because it sold poorly. But the Switch didn't sell poorly, that means it's a good console. As I said, I see these two on par. Now, obviously, I've seen countless reviewers online doing many different reviews of many different games. Maybe they do a marathon of a certain game franchise and they'll be like, you know? Welcome to the Super Mario Marathon! Now we're going to go into the Wii U game. This is going to be painful. And they'll pretty much always show a shot where they basically reach into a drawer, grab the Wii U gamepad, and then like, blow the dust off it. <laughs> And honestly, it's just kind of sad that people see this as so much better than this. In fact, whenever I mention that I, that I actually do like the Wii U and that I think they're more on par, in fact, for the longest time before I ever got the Switch, I always called the Switch the Wii U 2. It's like, as a, as a funny nickname, ha uh ha. -huh. And I got so much shit for it, so much genuine hate, that it was just ridiculous. Because, I mean, it... Like, look! Are you fucking serious? Are you seriously trying to say that the Switch is nothing like the Wii U? Oh, but you aren't required to keep it connected to the TV, you can take it out. It's basically the Wii U, but, you know, you don't have to keep it connected to the TV. That's literally all it is. I seriously don't see that. In fact, honestly, the, I, I honestly really do like the Wii U, and I proudly keep it on display right next to my Switch. These two are right next to each other on my shelf. And I genuinely do not understand the hate for the Wii U. Personally, I think the hate comes from all of the negative backlash online. You'll notice that a lot with a lot of like games. Like the game itself could be amazing. The game the game could be one of the best, like an absolute masterpiece. But, like, I, like, the Metacritic score is like 30%. It's terrible, like, it's awful, it's clunky. And then some other people are like, oh no, the, those reviews are completely wrong, they're amazing. That's the thing with the world of the internet. Any opinions that are negative about the Wii U will be taken in droves because so many people say that the Switch is 10 times better, like a million times better, so much more successful. And as I said, I really just don't see it. First of all, as I probably showed in my Switch review, I, I did show my Switch review, uh, I'll do a little mini review here. The buttons on the Switch click. Now obviously, that's not too bad, but when a button clicks, personally to me, when a button clicks, it feels cheap. Like if I press it too hard, it could break. I mean, that's the same with any button, but I mean, if I, I feel like if I press it, that it's going to wear off. Yeah, next up is the fact that, yeah, I mean, it's kind of neat that, oh, you can take off the, the controllers, look at that, oh, you can give it to someone else, you don't need, like, Wiimotes or anything, but, I mean, personally, it's the same thing, and once again, I know I said this in my review, but this will just be, like, a rundown, go and see the review if you haven't seen it already, why did why is this not a D-pad? Why is it buttons? And why are they so goddamn clicky? They are so goddamn loud. The button placements are also kind of weird as well. Like, I don't know why, but I always expect start and select to either be here, but obviously since this is a tablet, I would expect it maybe to be here, but not this whole menu. Now obviously personally for me with the Wii U, yes, they do click. These do click but they don't feel as cheap. They don't make 
a very loud clicking sound. I mean, yeah, you can say it's loud, but they don't feel like they're gonna break. Start select one right here. And even the analog sticks are in a much better place. It's not like one up here and one down here. The D-pad is an actual D-pad. It's an actual D-pad. Another thing might be the fact that you actually need to be near your TV in order for it to actually work, otherwise it'll just disconnect. But one thing that the Switch can't do without any external software or any hardware or any shit like that, it's like, oh, just download them from the eShop, is that the Wii U has a special little thing in it. It's a little emulator for a Wii. It's referred to as Wii Mode. Now, what Wii Mode does is, is it acts like a Wii. Now, you actually can play the Wii games on the gamepad. You can't use the gamepad, otherwise every single time you like, tap the screen or press a button, it'll say like, you can't use it, so you need the Wii Mode. Now, another thing that people might prefer on the Switch is the fact that the Wii U uses discs. And, you know, disc rot is a thing. And also the fact that this is just the controller. This this gamepad thing, even though I never use the TV mode, I always use this. This is just the controller. Now while the Switch uses cartridges, this isn't just a controller, this is the entire console right here. This is everything. And another thing people might prefer the Switch for is the fact that the controllers are detachable. But, another thing, uh, if you don't know, there was a thing going around where the Joy-Cons, which, in case you don't know, for whatever reason, are these things, the controllers, basically. Yeah, these, these things had a problem with something called drifting. Now, if you don't know what drifting is, for whatever reason, drifting is basically like, you go like that, and like, you stop, but it still recognizes that maybe you're like, it's basically recognizing input when there is no input. Now that was a problem with these, but obviously a good thing with the Switch is if these fail, you don't need to replace the entire console, just replace these, get a new pair of Joy-Cons, they sell them separately, just get a pair of those, you're golden. Now, I said this in my Switch review as well, but the whole menu, it's so barren. It's so barren. Now, I, I understand why it's like a performance thing because the home menu and all these consoles that have home menus they can go to at any point they they save them in RAM so in other words it's always running basically and the 3DS does it the Switch does it the Wii U doesn't however because obviously you know it needs more it needs more performance because it's technically a home console that is a home console so you have to actually close the, the game in order to access the home menu. Uh, but the home menu on like the 3DS, like, hell, hell, even the home menu on the DSi, the fucking DSi, and even the DS, even the DS had some, had something to it. The Switch has nothing. It doesn't even come with any pre-installed software. Now I know that's probably some that's probably annoying to some people, but the DS came with PictoChat. Now obviously PictoChat was kind of only useful if you were around someone, but it was still something. Something. So it's like if you bought the console and you didn't have any games, you had something. The DSI came with like Flipnote Studio. It came with additional software. The 3DS came with additional software, the AR card reader and face readers and all that. There isn't even any music. I get, oh, we're saving to RAM. What, the RAM couldn't handle a fucking sound file that looped? Like, it, it could have been like a fucking 10, 20 second sound file of song, like it just like, oh, it's just fucking anything. It doesn't come with anything. It is so bad. Say for example, you're the kind of person who buys this, and for whatever reason, you do not have an internet connection in 2019, if your parents are that fucking stingy, if you're like maybe 12 and your parents are like, eh, you know what, we don't really trust the internet. Like your parents are cheapskates. So let's just say that, let's just, hypothetical. You're a 12 year old kid, you don't have the internet, and you get the Switch. It's just a glorified drink course for that point. You have no games, 
you have a switch, no internet connection. It's a glorified drink coaster. You have nothing to do with it. It's it's literally nothing. It's just at that point, it's just an over expensive toy. So yeah, I really do not understand all the hit that the Wii U gets. Now, as I said, I don't hate the Switch. I do not hate the Switch. I want to state that very, very clearly. I do not hate the Switch. Because I see countless reviews of the Switch that are just like, Oh, these buttons feel really, really good. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's so good. Like, they basically just suck the Switch's dick. That's basically what they do. Now, I know absolutely no reviewer is going to ever see this video, but reviewers need to be fair. They can't just go along with what's popular and say it's amazing. I can imagine that someone these days review the Wii U, they'd probably say it's a worse Switch. I mean, look at this. Like, they'd be so goddamn biased. They wouldn't even give it a single chance. They'd just say it's bulky. The buttons feel terrible. The console, the game lineup is terrible. Everything about it is terrible. That's what they would say. I guarantee, guarantee that if someone these days, these days somehow did a Wii U review, like a retrospective, they would say it was terrible because of all the news coverage of the Switch saying that it's so much better. And that's personally my opinion on all of this backlash for the Wii U. And why I say that the Switch is not a million times better than the, than the Wii U. It's not even 10 times better, I'd say it's pretty much on par. It's basically the same console, except one can be taken out of the house, but one can play Wii games, the other can't. But one has this, the other doesn't, that kind of thing. But people look past that just because I, I can imagine this video is going to be so like spammed with dislikes from people who say that I'm thinking that somehow their glorious switch is on par, in other words, not better, not worse, but pretty much the same as the Wii U. Pretty much these days even mentioning the Wii U is taboo. You can't even mention the Wii U without any backlash. And that is what I hate. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut out so much of this video, but yeah, I can imagine I'm gonna get some backlash. As I said, I can imagine I'm gonna get some backlash. So anyway, I've been your host, Pika Kinnanen. This has been Switch vs Wii U, and you've all been fantastic. So until the next video, I say bye-bye.